Hello ladies and gentlemen, P99 Shooter here. Happy New Year to you all. Hope the year is treating you all well. I have something a little bit different for you guys today. Um, kind of a show and tell. I picked up this custom holster recently from my Colt Python. Uh, it's made by Diamond D Leather out of Wasilla, Alaska. And this particular holster is called the Alaska Hunter Hip Holster. Uh, it's custom in many ways. It has a few extra accessories and features that you normally wouldn't get with a traditional holster. And I kind of wanted to uh, show you some of the finer points on it. Uh, Diamond D Leather is really known. There's, there's lots of videos out there for their Guide's Choice Ultimate Outdoor Holster, their chest rig holster. Uh, I can see the, a lot of the practical applications for it from, <laughs> from the fisherman here not wanting to keep his holster near the water off his hip, the hiker going through brush, or the hunter sitting in a blind. Having quick access from, from a chest rig would have its benefits. However, I did want something a little bit more traditional, and I kind of find that with the, uh, with the hip holster. But being that my python is a 6-inch six six version, You get a lot of drop to it. And first things first. This nickel plated python, six inch python was made in 1980. And uh, it shoots as good as it looks. I'll just say that. <laughs> it's really fun. Um, but I wanted to have a little something extra with me in the field when deer hunting in case one of these guys crashes your party. You never know. So hey, nothing wrong with a little extra security and that'll do the trick. But that being said, this particular holster, the Alaska Hunter hip holster, they make them in three different colors. This one's brown. They make a, one of a lighter hue and it, it's called natural natural oil I believe I think it's called is that what it's called natural oil natural oil brown and black this is a uh, part of the catalog that's included and you can get it with a traditional thumb break like I did or you can get the flap uh, they make it for revolvers and semi-autos you can even get uh, one in a cross draw configuration well, thing it really intrigued me because I have this the the six inch barrel on it is this uh, Alaska Hunter drop loop feature where you can get this optional drop loop and in addition to that you can get an additional reload option and all you have to do is specify the te you know the caliber you're using or whatnot and they'll they'll include it on there I've got this six shells that carry 357 slash 38. Uh, very super tight fit. These will hopefully break in after time. I'm still working on that. The, the holster was super tight. Very, very tight. I had to do the blocking procedure with putting the revolver in the Ziploc bag. Um, but uh, it seems to be uh, loosened up quite nicely now. I mean, it took two hands to try and jerk it out of there. It was, it was pretty to skin it. It was pretty bad. But I digress. The drop loop feature on the back side here as you can see you just run your traditional belt through it and then you've got about two inches of clearance there between the top there's three screws on the back side you got about two inches of clearance there one and three quarter width belt will fit in there nicely um, but to get this extra drop what you're going to gain from here from here to here you're going to gain about four inches. So you're going to get an extra four inches of drop. And so it'll hang a little bit lower on your, not quite like a thigh rig, but it'll hang nice and low. And the added benefit is that two and two, four snaps, you can take it right on and, on, right on and off your belt. Some pretty robust snaps. I wouldn't do it too much, lest they uh, work themselves loose after a while. But um, you get a little bit of a uh, little bit of movement with it. Not too bad. The only part that would really concern me with this ammo carrier here 
as if it was bang, the uh, the far left shell banging into your grip a little bit, but not too bad. When you're when you're hanging, it's going to have a little bit of slop to it, anyways. Like that, I don't think it's going to hit it too much. I've already bashed a lot of zombie teeth in with my python here, as you can see. Just kidding. It's a tool, folks. It's all good. So, I just wanted to show this holster off. It's beautifully handmade. They make them for all kinds of revolvers, all kinds of semi-autos. They have dozens and dozens of solid cast aluminum replicas of just about any weapon you can think of on their website. And you just tell them what you got. Specify specifically. Make, model, barrel length. And you can even include a picture of it just for um redundancy just to kind of make sure that they're making the right exact holster for you and i can see you look at the lines i mean they this holster is made to fit you've got the extra tension screw right here just forward of the trigger guard for extra uh firmness but once i've done this block i did the blocking procedure on it and loosened it up a little bit the, the draw is much smoother now that's not something I'm going to keep in it all the time anyways, for obvious reasons. I don't want, you know, the nickel plating, I don't want it to, you know, wear down over time. But I don't see it. It's, it's, it is butter smooth. It is super smooth on the inside. And it probably would be just fine for keeping it in there. Leather aficionados would probably beg to differ with me on that. But that's all good. It's, it's a tool, folks. It's beautiful. If I wanted to... Not bring it in the field. I would not bring it in the field. But I would trust my life with this weapon. It's awesome. So, just wanted to show that to you. Uh, like I said, you get this. Uh, the uh, drop loop and ammo carrier was is an, uh, an optional accessory, as is the thumb brake. You can do that or you can do the, uh, the old school uh, flap. Which actually might be kind of cool, too, for keeping snow or rain off it. But it's all good. But uh, it's uh, it, it's actually it's absolutely beautiful, and it should uh, should keep my python nice and secure if I uh, if I were to take it in the field. Uh, they included a free sticker, optional and optional catalog as well, showing all their products. Is there a guy their popular guide choice chest rig holster, Alaska Hunter? Um, they make a few different styles, concealed concealed carry holsters. Uh, they even even have like uh, rifle butt cuffs and slings, and uh, belts and lots of other uh, leather accessories. But made in America, you got to support that. There's uh, these guys are uh, craft. These men and women are are true craftswomen and craftsmen over there, and they uh, did a really beautiful job. And it's they even have it stamped right in the back here. There is it. D. Johnston. G. D. Johnston was the maker of this holster. And thank you, D. You did a great job. It looks really good. And um, I'm proud, proud to carry my python in it and proud to support you folks. So look them up if you're looking for a, decent, for a cool holster. For your semi-auto revolver, you'd like to go something kind of custom, kind of make it your own. Go for it. I think they'll even do some embossing it with initials and whatnot. You'd have to ask. You could probably email them. They could probably just do just about anything you want. But wanted to show that for you. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.